Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Five Men West out here today. Getting a little ride on the Gold Wing. Headed over to uh, get me a great cup, cup of coffee at a place called Vigilante. Uh, great coffee, amazing coffee. So I recommend if you're in the uh, Washington, D.C. area, it's in uh, a town called Hyesville, Hyesville, Maryland. And uh, hey, great coffee. If you're into uh, small battery uh, coffee making uh, for places, uh, this is a must visit place. Uh, they in national competitions all around the country. And I'm just out here enjoying myself on the wing. I figure I'd go get me a great cup of coffee. You know, it's just a small, the finer things in life, just being able to enjoy a motorcycle and have a great cup of coffee. So, uh, I figure I'd ride on out and uh, take me a nice little ride and enjoy me a nice fall bridge day. Uh, looks like, uh, see the temperature around here oh it's 50 degrees cloudy 50 degrees here in the Washington DC area I'm just out here enjoying myself uh, my first day off so I think I just spend the day doing a couple of things around the house this morning I figure I get out and go get me a great cup of coffee and take the wing so how you guys doing today I uh, hope you enjoy yourself. I know there's plenty of rides coming up this season. I uh, just got a call and text from uh, another friend of mine. Uh, we got a bike blessing coming up here. So I always try to start the season off uh, participating in a bike blessing. You know, just God just watching over me and uh, why I'm out here on this motorcycle and why I'm in my day-to-day -day life and just thankful that I'm able to see another day and I don't take it for granted that you know riding a motorcycle uh, this is a great hobby it can be expensive and I don't take it for granted you know I'm truly blessed to be able to enjoy it you know other people like I say I'm, I'm a fireman so I work one day on and off three days so I, I do get a chance to ride my bike uh, you know however you know I, I don't take it for granted you know everybody got to get the nine to five hustle and bustle you know got to provide for your families and uh, I do understand I got a great opportunity to uh, you know be out on my motorcycle so other than that just out here chilling right now about five or ten minutes away from a coffee spot called Vigilante so that's where I'm headed to I'm headed to. So, question for all, all my fellow Gold Wing riders, YouTubers. Uh, have you guys joined your local uh, GWRRA association, Gold Wing Road Riders Association? I have joined mine. Uh, I have, uh, I kept running into a guy who rides the Gold Wing. And, uh, you know, we, we continue to talk. Uh, you know, he was like, man, you need to come on out. I always see you on your motorcycle riding. Hey, you need to come on out and join the uh, G uh, Gold Wing Rest of, uh, Road Riders Association. So I said, oh, okay, bet. So we, we end up, uh, you know, talking. We, we found out, you know, we had a lot of mutual interests. Uh, my buddy, his name is OZ. OZ, a great dude, uh, you know, hardworking guy like myself. Uh, just love riding motorcycles. Solid cat. You know, come to find out he's a golfer as well. We have some mutual friends uh, here in the Washington, D.C. area. So uh, this cat is just a solid cat, man. I'm glad to have met him. And, uh, you know, he encouraged me. Hey, man, come on out. Uh, you know, a lot of, lot of great people. So uh, me and my wife met up at, uh, at the uh, last meeting and we joined up. And uh, so, man, I'm now a proud, proud member of the GWRRA Association, AKA Gold Wing Ro Restaurant Riders Association. Um, met a lot of good people, uh, a lot of passionate people about motorcycling. 
you know, a lot of people that's, uh, you know, enjoy being on their motorcycle. And uh, it, it just, you know, it's a great place to be. Uh, can't, I look forward to riding with them this year. Hopefully, uh, I think I'll be riding down the wing ding with them. Uh, if not, you know, I have a couple other people who inquired about going to wing ding with me. So uh, either way, uh, great, great association. Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, positives. Come on, Mr. Cox. Uh, a lot of positives. Hey, you got to be paying attention, man. So there's a lot of positives, uh, you know, being a part of the association, uh, a lot of benefits, uh, just skimming through some of the paperwork. And, uh, man, I was just blown away by uh, some of the things they offer as far as road service, uh, you know, different discounts on different things, you know, even outside of motorcycling. So, hey, I'm a proud member of the GWRRA. So... Uh, you guys are a member of the GWRRA in your local areas. Uh, it'd be nice uh, to know. You know, leave a comment in the section below. You know, also, uh, I noticed, you know, being uh, I am in my mid to late 40s, and uh, I noticed that most of the members were a little, you know, older than myself. And uh, my man, uh, my buddy uh, OZ, you know, they both were, uh, you know, they most, they pretty much was running in their uh, late 50s, uh, 60s, and even some of the 70s. So also I noticed that um, a lot of the members in uh, Chapter B, which I'm a part of, uh, they, um, a lot of them have trikes. You know, there's a lot of female riders I was surprised about. I uh, saw a lot of female riders. Um, it's just amazing. Uh, a lot of couples like me, myself, my wife, she rides with me. So, uh, you know, we're just excited, you know, finding some, you know, quality things to do around good people. Uh, you know, just just makes the world better, you know, and uh, it just makes your life better. It makes it balanced. You know, you're able to, uh, you know, associate with, with quality people, man. That's not up for none of the nonsense. You know, there's, they have the same passion, the same interests as you do, you know, uh, just, just love God and, uh, you know, love motorcycles. So I'm just happy about it. And, uh, you know, I look forward to, uh, you know, getting out here on the road with them. So hopefully this year I have, I say, uh, I got like four long distance trips planned. Uh, you know, I'm going to Wing Ding. Um, I'm supposed to be going uh, to uh, down south. Uh, I'm going to Charlotte. I'm uh, going, even though I don't consider Charlotte a real long distance trip, this is an overnight trip. Uh, I'll be going to see my son. He's down in, uh, uh, he's down in uh, Livingstone, right outside of Charlotte. So I usually ride down there to go see him. Uh, plan on also going to uh, maybe the Roundup this year. I think it's held in Chicago. Um, Yep, those are some of the trips, and I have another one. I haven't quite uh, narrowed down the time frame, but uh, I have a few that are going to be, you know, weekend trips with me and my wife. And we're just going to look at this guy here. Yeah, just pull out in front of us. Wow. <laughs> wow, ma'am. You could have caused a bad day. Oh, hey. That's what you got to be on your P's and Q's for in, uh, in this area, you know. People going to pull out. They going to do some amazing things, uh, you know. Bless her heart, though. Uh, it looked like she was an elderly lady, you know. Bless her heart, you know. I was I'm glad I was able to see her coming out. And uh, I was able to, you know, slow down and not ruin my day. So, God bless her. Well, about to pull up here. Uh, coffee spot vigilante yeah I love this little area right here you know it's uh, like an old town feel also there's a lot of railroads uh, pretty historical place here and in, uh, in this area called Hydesville so pretty cool place a lot of artists uh, a lot of things here but most for most of all, some of the best coffee in the area.
Uh uh, looks like it's a little crowded. I don't think I got a spot though. Yep. Hotsville, Maryland. So I'm kind of around here. She can uh, find me. Nice little spot in front of this place. Pulling up to Vigilante Coffee. Some of the best coffee in the area. Some really good stuff. If I had smell o vision you guys would be amazed in the smell <laughs> that I'm getting from the coffee that's being brewed in this place. So, guys, just stand by. Take you guys inside. Uh, just get a quick glimpse of uh, Vigilante Coffee. See you guys in a minute. So guys, we're here at Vigilante Coffee. And we're going to go in and uh, order us a nice cup of coffee. And uh, give you guys a look at the inside. Hey, how you doing? All right, All right, what y'all got on drip today? So right now we have a uh, Ecuadorian coffee. Ecuadorian? Yes. What? I can What's... give you a sample if you Yeah, I'll take a sample, absolutely. It's a little hot. Thank you, sir. Smells good. We also have four of these if you like. Right. Yeah. Uh, this guy's like a uh, citrus. Good. I'm going to take a large one. Okay. Yeah, so, this is really good. Yeah, the biggest. This is, it's all right. Yeah, I've been here before. Okay. I'm a frequent flyer. Is this for here to go? Uh, you can make it to go. I just love it in the cup. So if I have something left, or well, I get another one, I'll come. I'll. Uh, I can put it on my bike. Telling people this is the greatest coffee in the in, in, in the area yeah. here in Washington DC area. Yeah, we just got voted the best coffee shop in Maryland. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't. No doubt, you got my vote. Okay, so it's gonna be 265. So I motor vlog on my uh, on my motorcycle, and uh, so basically I, I do YouTube. So I'm bringing them in here just to show them how uh, the best coffee in uh, the Washington D.C. area tastes. Hey, that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks a lot, hey, bro. No All right, here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, so I got my cup. And, uh, I don't know if you guys can see. They're actually brewing some coffee right now. For a small brewery. He's actually uh, roasting the coffee right now as we speak. Look at this thing here. So the thing about the uh, small batch breweries, um, it just has a more consistent taste. So the coffee, uh, you know, the beans come in from all places around the country. And uh, what they do is they, uh, they brew them to a specific taste and uh, bitterness, whether it's dark or light or medium. So it's just a great place. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. So I, I do a motor vlog on, on my motorcycle. Oh, so cool. I tell them about the best coffee yeah. in the city <laughs> in the area. So yeah. I, I figure I'd take them in here to yeah, get a okay. first hand look. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> great people. Uh, it's a great place to visit. If you're in the Washington, D.C. area, this is a must come for anybody that's. Uh, We'll enjoy a great cup of coffee. Where, where are you brewing? Uh, what are you brewing now? I'm I mean, roasting now. I'm Brazilian. Brazilian? Mm 
Okay, all right. So is it going to be more of a medium or a dark roast? Everything we do is light to medium. Medium, light yes. to medium? Yes, yes, yes. 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 This is a, yeah, awesome, awesome. Hey, people. Vigilante Coffee. Uh, also the great social place. You know, you got people uh, doing their work. Uh, it's like a Starbucks, like a higher-end Starbucks. But, uh, the coffee here, uh, I talked to a buddy of mine. He said the co uh, Starbucks coffee is like uh, the Walmart of coffee. This is your high-end coffee, and I must agree. Uh, very good stuff, man. If you ever get a chance, you know, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. So guys, I don't know if you are coffee connoisseurs or people enjoy a good cup of coffee, but trust me, when I tell you uh, this place here is worth the trip. Um, a lot of times I just find myself coming out here and uh, you know, just grabbing me a great cup of coffee. Here, a pretty diverse crowd. Uh, a lot of uh, college students uh, in this area. Uh, but great coffee, uh, you know, they serve a smaller cup. Uh, the intense flavor is so intense, you know, with the, uh, with the great beans that they use here from all around the world. Uh, so guys, if you, um, you know, if you enjoy coffee, man, trust me, you will not be disappointed. Uh, it's one of the places I frequent, you know, quite a lot. Uh, just a great place to be. So... Uh, this is your boy, you know, Farming West out here. Just enjoying myself out on the gold wing. Just give me a little coffee. So, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for riding. And uh, just a quick vlog on uh, Vigilante Coffee. Get here, get some. Trust me.